OMG. Welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn coming at you with another episode of Couponing After Dark, which you know means I'm at the Rite Aid. So I'm at Rite Aid to do a deal. If you're new and you just found me so happy that you are here, would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video and definitely feel free to say hello to me. I'd love to say hello to you as well. So I'm at Rite Aid. I actually came just to pick up a prescription. Uh, so, I've been telling you guys in a few videos, I got like a sinus infection. My doctor made me wait. I didn't go to the doctor until like five days in. Um, I don't hardly ever get sick. So I know like when something's actually not a cold and I knew this was not a cold. Um, and so I went to the doctor and he's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you are getting a sinus infection, but I think it's um, viral. Let's give it a few more days. <laughs> I was like, eh. like I never go to the doctor. So anyways, I gave it a few more days and it was just getting worse. And so he did end up calling me in an antibiotic, but I called him on Friday morning. He didn't call me back until like Friday at five. Some of y'all are going to be like, oh my gosh, you shouldn't have done this. <laughs> and some of y'all are going to be like, yeah, I did. I would do that too. I had an expired prescription for pen, um, not penicillin, amoxicillin, um, that I had got from um, when I got a tooth pulled like a couple of years ago that I never took because I'm really bad about taking medicine. Anyways, I knew that even though it was expired, it was still good. It might be a little weaker. So I started taking that. So I just ran to Rite Aid today to actually pick up my prescription that's non-expired. <laughs> And it's the same exact medicine, so everything's totally fine. Um, but I just didn't want to wait to start taking the antibiotic because I knew I needed one. So anyways, I wasn't planning on doing a deal today, to be honest, but I knew there was a couple things I wanted to do. I just hadn't worked anything up yet. And while I was in the store picking up my prescription, I started looking at the products and I was like, Let's just throw together a deal real quick. So I might do more writing couponing this week. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to show you one quick deal that I did, which I thought was a really good deal. Um, so I wanted to share it with you, uh, mainly for baby products, if you need baby products. And um, that's it. If you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Let's go do an awesome deal. Happy Tuesday. We're in the Rite Aid getting ready to do a quick transaction. I told you in the intro I had nothing planned and decided to throw this together. I'm looking at the Kimberly Clark deal that is spend 30, earn back $10 in bonus cash. And you can do that a limit of two times per card. I am totally out of diaper wipes. And so I'm going to stock up on uh, as many as I can. So I'm grabbing four of the big packs that are $11.99 each. And then I'm going to grab six of the smaller packs that are $3.99 each. So all of these Huggies is going to total me $53.92 at the buy one, get one 50% off sale. I do have a $0.25 cent digital coupon in the app for one pack. Uh, I have a 25 cent rebate on Ibotta, which is just a limit of one time, which is kind of a bummer, but I'll take whatever I can get. I'll submit to Shopmium for a 25 cent coupon reimbursement on one of them. And then I don't have any bonuses on Fetch Rewards specifically for Huggies, but I do get 10 points per dollar. And I do have scan any receipt, get 800 points, and then scan any Rite Aid receipt, get 200 points. So we're adding up all those little things to help us save as much as we can on these wipes. And I do have a bonus cash challenge. I wanted to make sure I spent at least $53 because I'll hit my second tier of my bonus cash challenge and earn back $10.60. I'm gonna max this deal out and do it twice. So I'm gonna grab some Cottonelle. Uh, the six pack is on sale for $7.49. So I'm gonna grab that and I do have a $2 digital coupon for that one. I do have a bonus cash challenge for Cottonelle, but I, it's only one tier and I won't hit it, but I will start tracking. 
So now the total of everything in my basket is $61.41. So I'll have the cashier scan this in ad booster of spend 50, earn back an additional $10 in bonus cash. Now, because of the threshold coupons that I'm gonna show you in a second that I wanna use, I am gonna actually add a piece of candy at checkout to get my total just a touch higher. So I have this Catalina coupon that printed towards the beginning of the month that expired, I think on the 11th, it's an eight off 40. These will scan through the whole month. And then when I just picked up my prescription, I got a five off of 20. Last week when I tried to use uh, one that printed from the pharmacy, it literally wouldn't scan. So hopefully that's been fixed. But for these two threshold coupons, I need to spend $60, which I have 61 41 as a total. So those will go through with no problem, but if I also want my digital coupons to come off, I need to add that to my total. So $60 in threshold, plus I have $2.25 in digital coupons. My total of products needs to be $62.25, and it's only $61.41. So I'm just gonna add a piece of candy so that my $2 digital off of Cottonelle comes off. My 25 cent digital off of the Huggies would have come off regardless. And I'm just gonna use bonus cash to pay for this transaction and earn all of the bonus cash back. This is so quick and so easy. If you don't need anything baby related, the Kimberly Clark deal includes uh, Cottonelle, a couple of different sizes, the Cottonelle wipes, um, you buy Kotex, Poise. So there are lots of different options, but this is what I need. So that's what I'm grabbing. Let's head to the kitchen table and go over this awesome transaction. All right, we are back at the kitchen table with this quick and easy Rite Aid haul. Woo! And we got a Donna Jean Wu, and Clark is over there playing with his football. Uh, the girls are off school today for a snow day, and Thomas is over there taking a nap. <laughs> so we got the whole family here. All right, so told you I had nothing planned. I just ran in the store to grab my prescription and decided just to go ahead. I knew I was totally out of wipes. I've been out of wipes for a few weeks now. I've been searching for a deal. And so I was like, I'm just gonna take advantage and grab them now. I have a bonus cash challenge, which really helped and made it awesome. So let's take a look at my receipt. So there is my Cottonelle with my $2 digital coupon. I did grab a Snickers at checkout and then all of my Huggies wipes. You can see my 25 cent Load to card digital coupon came off. There's my eight off 40, scanned perfectly fine. What didn't scan perfectly fine was this dang five off 20. So the coupons that are printing from the pharmacy are still not scanning. And I knew that from last week. And it's not that they're beeping, they're literally not scanning. So I said to the cashier, oh, I had this problem last week. That's from the pharmacy. And he's like, oh yeah, we've been having trouble with them. He goes, I've tried to call the company that does the printing of these coupons and I just get put on hold forever. So they know it's an issue. Hopefully it'll get fixed soon, but he was kind enough to input it manually for me. So I ended up having a subtotal of $47.93. And I used bonus cash to pay, but I only had... $45.47 in bonus cash. Look at all those Rite Aid points I have. I could have converted some. <laughs> but again, I had no plan. I was just going in the store and I was like, oh, I think I have just about enough to cover this. So I did have to pay a teeny little subtotal of just about $2.40. But I earned $30 back in bonus cash. And then I earned enough points to pop me up to the next tier um, for that I can convert into bonus cash when I remember to do that. <laughs> you can automatically convert every time you hit a thousand points. It'll just add $2 in bonus cash to um, your bonus cash money. But I don't like to do that because bonus cash money expires 30 days after you earn it where the points are good for 90 days before you have to convert them. So anyways, uh, so I paid $47.93. I earned back $30 in bonus cash, $2 in Rite Aid points to convert to bonus cash. Uh, hit my second tier of that bonus cash challenge for $10.60. 
submitted my receipt to Ibotta and I actually had a 10 cent any receipt scan as well. So I got back 35 cents from Ibotta, submitted my receipt to Shopmium for a 25 cent coupon reimbursement on one of them. Uh, submitted my receipt to Fetch Rewards. I showed you what I had going on there and I ended up earning like a dollar and 50 cents from Fetch Rewards. So I ended up earning $44 and 70 cents. There's Tom moving around now. Uh, $44 and 70 cents where I paid $47.93. So this all cost me just $3 and 23 cents which I think is fantastic for an on-the-fly deal. I hardly had any coupons to use other than my threshold coupons, and that bonus cash challenge totally helped me out, and now I'm stocked up on wipes for not very long <laughs> because the grandbabies go through them so quickly, uh, but at least I got some stock now, and I feel good, and it was an easy transaction. So there you go. That is what I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, Make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much, and I'm going to see you again soon. Bye.